Yeah. So they're going to arrest me tomorrow at one o'clock. I'm going to go down and do an interview. Oh my God, look at this. There's a picture there. Uh... We come back to that uh, number 21 you're on about. Hi, who's that? Here we are, not only on your radio, but also on TV, on Channel 54, which is Solent TV, very big across the South Coast, getting more and more uh, viewers every month, and they're very pleased about that. Uh, but if you live in an area where you cannot pick up Solent TV, you can go online and go to their uh, video-on-demand service. Uh, it's solent.tv, and see this show or any of the other shows that uh, we have done on there, as well as getting uh, news bulletins and other programmes too. Uh, Doc, hi. Good morning. Morning. You made it through the traffic. Unbelievable. If, you, if you're out on the road today, you have my sympathy. It is one of those gridlock days. And uh, look, Ron Shepard's here. Absolutely great to see him. Hi, Ron. You look really Hello, well. Hello, Dave. Yeah, thanks very much. You look fighting fit. Britain's most... Married man. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And, and did I hear you say as I was driving in that, that, that you're going to be in Woman magazine? Yeah, that's gonna, it's supposed to be next week, I think it is, yeah. And, yeah. and they're doing a feature. Are they doing a feature on you and your work, uh, the recent work in Thailand, or is this about you and Shane Ritchie? And, no, no, no. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, it's basically parts from the book and that. Um, about the seven marriages and um, a bit about the charity work that I do. Really. Right, let, let's just set it up for people who, who are not sure who Ron is. Ron Shepherd is a legend on the club circuit. Uh, Ron Shepherd is Shane Ritchie's best friend. Uh, Ron Shepherd is a guy who suffered from a crippling back pain. Uh, he had arachnophobia and, sorry, arachnoditis. Uh, but you are, see, what's confusing is you are terrified of spiders too, aren't you? No. <laughs> No. Oh. 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 oh, right, sorry. Anyway, he had uh, <laughs> crippling back pain with uh, arachnoditis, uh, and he is... Um, I mean, he's probably one of the most famous people in Britain associated with the uh, the arachnoditis uh, campaign for recognition. He's also Britain's... Uh, it sounds like he's a headline junkie. Mm. I don't mean... He's also Britain's most married man. He's now recorded a record, and he's now decided to become a charity worker. Now, we're very happy to talk about Ron's... Sorry? I've always been a charity worker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even but, when you were... Yeah. I mean, you, you said he worked the clubs, and, of course, before that, you are also very, very famous on the holiday camp circuit because many hundreds of thousands of people who would have had holiday camp yeah. holidays would have seen you entertaining at some of those uh, holiday camps. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, I've done that, and... Um, How many people do you think you've entertained, Ron, over the years? Cool. I don't, thousands, actually, Dave. I mean... Hundreds of thousands? Um... I would say that, yeah, over the years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. anyway, so that is what that man is all about. If you want to give him a call, uh, he would love to take your, uh, your, your, your questions from you. Um, but I feel we've got some sorting out to do. Uh, call up and speak to Ron. Uh, the sorting out I, I, I feel we've got to do first is mm. while Ron was away, uh, we had uh, three calls from three different women. Whether they've been set up to do this, Ron, or not, I don't know. But uh, I, I did, what I want to do is lay our cards on the table. Yeah. They, they, right. they seemed absolutely certain, convinced, that you had not, in fact, been married as many times as you claimed. <laughs> I wish I hadn't, but um, if I can just make one thing clear. Before any magazine publishes a story such as a woman's magazine. I've got an agent who um, who was asked to check out all the registry offices, my marriages and that, and that's that's all been done. As someone asked me on Friday, Ron, who, yeah. who we said you were coming in, and obviously we, not to talk about this because we know we don't want to talk about it, but really she said to me, are you sure that none of these were marriages were bigamous? Was he always married, divorced, married, divorced? Married, divorced, married, divorced. Would you yeah. tell us? If, he wouldn't tell us if he, if he was a bigamist, would he? No, I'm, I've always no, been sorry. honest, you know, I've always been honest and uh, I've never been a bigamist. You've never hidden. I mean, it, no. uh, in fairness, no. my impression of you is that you are a, a nice, honest man. Uh, you've never tried to hide the fact that you left your children and... Uh... No, I mean, I've made mistakes, like many people, and that, mm. you know, and, um, you know, I do regret some of the mistakes I've made, but some of them that I don't. I mean, there's thousands of people today that are getting divorced, they're leaving their children, some of them don't even see their children. Mm. Right, Ron Shepard, we're going to take some calls, Ron, hang on there. Um, I'm sure by now you know the number to call. If you want to give us a call, we'd uh, love to uh, love to hear from you. Hello, line one, who's that? Hello, mate, it's Mark in Rookley. Hello, Mark, you're through to uh, Ron Shepherd. He's very interested in taking calls about his charity work. What did you want to say? Excellent. Hello, Ron. Sorry, it's, it's not about your charity work. I'm Hi, afraid, Mark. mate. Um, that uh, single of yours, I, I just uh, sat listening to it in the car and it just struck me. Uh, that so the, the, uh, 
Sorry, go on. No, oh, I was just going to say, for me, when I hear it, the, the emotion yeah. wells up. I, I, I can almost, every time I hear it, there's almost always a tear in my eye. Yeah, it stirs something up, definitely. But um, what came to mind was Maria Prakatan and, and perhaps uh, Ron could do a, a duet with her for Christmas, something like that. Well, I don't know, but thanks for the comments on that. All right, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Do, you know, okay, do you know who Maria Prakatan is? Yeah, she's the she's girl from Spain, wasn't she? What a belter. Yeah. Mm, I mean, yeah. she could belt. I've met her, actually. Have yeah, you? Met her, well, you've yeah. met them all, Ron. Yeah, you've met yeah. them all. I thought, I've just come up with an idea. Mm. Let me just... Um, yeah. What about now, if Ron comes on and in 30 seconds names all of the women he's been married to and the years he married them? Yes, that so would be good. So you could say, you do that, Ron? wife one, Carol, married 1964, divorced 1966. Wife two, Anne, married 1967, divorced... Two. What about doing that? Just to... <laughs> yeah? OK, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll try it, but the dates, obviously, you know, I mean... Do your best, Ron. Do the memories your best guess. I mean, any guy should be able to name the women he was married to, mm. the years he married them, the years he divorced them, and then the next. And then any confusion, we know he's lying. If he can run <laughs> this, all right. So You're this is Ron Shepard. Right? No, yeah. no, I wouldn't do that to you. Ron <laughs> Shepard, Britain's most married man. Go. Right, my first one was Margaret. Then it was that was 1969. Um, sorry, 1966. Then there was Jeanette, 1973. Then there was Leslie, 1976. Um, then there was Cafe in 1981. Um, then there was Sue in. 19... Uh, I forget now, because it was a long time, that that marriage. And um, after that, after that was Aisha uh, in 1990, and then one, and that was it. Right, you didn't actually do it in the 30 seconds allocated, and you got kind of mixed up with Sue. Uh, uh, Ron, yeah. I'm a bit worried about the gap between Jeanette and, and Leslie. I mean, you were, you married <laughs> Jeanette, you said, in 73, yeah. and J Leslie in 76. That was a very short marriage, that one. Yeah, if you remember rightly, I think... I think that um, I told you last time that that was basically a marriage of convenience for both of us, you know. Really? Yeah. You were, she was she was trying to get a green card or <laughs> no, no residency no, no. or yeah. I I mean that's all in the magazine, so you know. I well, mean, wait, people are really interested in that side of it, coming because of course today yeah. what we really want to talk about the charity work. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's just such an amazing guy. Ron, I just Ron walks into the room a bit like Elvis Presley. I mean you can see this on camera too. Now. I'm not saying he's as tall as Elvis or as striking as Elvis, but there is just something about Ron when he walks into the room. Before before we do that, because we've got two two texts here, people have got questions and I just feel that we should deal with this, otherwise we're gonna have to come back to it. Okay. Before we get on to the children, the nurses and so on. Uh, it says, uh, can you please ask Ron how much he's paid for his Thai brides? Does he get a special benefit for this uh, as I run my own business and can't afford to jet out as often as Ron seems to. Perhaps I could uh, should have a convenient back problem. Well, it's no joke, this back problem. No. Like Mr Shepherd, And milk the state. When will he realise we, we can pay good money for a bride but uh, can you please ask Ron how much he pays for his brides? Does he get a special benefit for this? Uh, as I remember, oh, he just carries on. Kind of you, I'm not even going to bother Have you ever... That. Don't, don't. I'm have not. you ever paid for a wife? Never. Never. <laughs> never. <laughs> have you, I would Ron, never pay for a wife. Ron, I'm going to ask you this yeah. question, and I, I know you're an honest guy. Yeah. Do you have prostitutes when you're out there? No way. That is something that I have never done. I've never taken drugs. Uh, yeah. When you Anything originally like went that, to I Thailand, no, though, no, before you met no, Aisha, no. What, what made you go to Thailand the first time you ever went there? I was on my way to Singapore when I met Aisha. Um, sorry, I went to Singapore because I was on my way to uh, see my daughter and my grandchildren in Australia. On your own? On my own. Have any of these women, uh, yeah. after... Who was the, the last English one you married? Uh, the last thing is one was Sue. Oh, Sue. Sue. Yeah. And uh, after Sue, were any of those women prostitutes? No. Right. No. Okay, I'm only asking because no, no, I want to no. clear this up. People no will be way. wondering. No way. Yeah. If no you way. want to speak to... I think there are people who have probably concluded that you've been married seven times. They think that all of them have been Thai brides, or many of them have been. No, they haven't. And that kind of lonely single guy who goes out to Thailand, maybe you get taken advantage of by some of these Thai brides, <laughs> you marry them, they get their residency in Britain, and then they leave you. No, no, no. no. Oh, what you're saying, Completely it's a business wrong. deal. Wrong yeah. Yeah. A, lot wrong of people, a, a lot of people... A, have, a young wife. A lot of people have suggested to me that, that wrong. Ron is being funded on his uh, trips to Thailand by these women who come up with the money because they just want to marry an Englishman, get that residency in Britain. There are some, and then yeah. They, I mean... There some are women some have done people that to you? Do it. No, no, not to me, but there's women that there's women that um I mean